quickly, quickly. I'm going on holiday. So that means one thing and one thing only. It's time to fish. Hello, hello, hello people. It's me, Charlie Does Fishing, and I'm back. I know you've missed me, but this one will be a banger. We have left the cesspit that is known as London on a venture to see pink gammon people bathing in sun while drinking Stella Artoires. Becoming a gammon is not on my agenda, but catching massive fish is. So come, let's get it. Just touched down. We are waiting for a bus on our own. And fishing soon come. Fishing soon come. We finally made it. And this is our house for a week. Yes, yes, people. We've made it. Start. Welcome to the temporary abode. And whilst I show you around, let me tell you about my plans. I have plans for big fish and I have plans for little fish. I dream of catching tuna and someone gave me a tip that they might just be located in this area. I'm also curious to see what lives in these rock pools. And if there's any other animals out there, I'm going to capture them too, even if it is just on camera. It's turned up quite nice. The issue is now there is no food. So we have to go get some Burger King, which isn't that bad. Quite up for it, if I'm being honest. This is the last video for today because I'm done out here. What we're doing is the Burger King from, a, from foreign, from foreign Burger King. So here we've got a chips and one piece chicken burger, two piece chicken burger, and some of these, and they look quite mad. We also got a blue Fanta, and what's this program called? Goggle Box. This is how you know we're living up. Proper British fucking holiday, mate. All right, proper, proper British holiday, mate, yeah? Proper, proper British holiday, mate, yeah? Proper British holiday, mate. Hello, hello, hello. Morning, people. I'm very tired. It's eight o'clock. And we're just packing up the back. We're in Tenerife, we've got the drone, we've got the camera gear. And we're about to go and catch some serious fish. The early bird catches the worm, but we're looking for boats. We just got off the cab, or out the cab, and now we need to find the boat. I never did Duke of Edinburgh, so I'm struggling. I've even had to ask some of the locals boat for help. Been spotted. How we get there, I do not know. Just walking into the marina set off a buzz. Anticipations were high. It was early in the morning and we were frothing. Wait. And we could see a load of fish swimming around. Where? I've never done anything like this before and I was real excited to give it a try. Leading up to this moment, I had tried to book three other companies. This one gave me a go at the last minute. It was like meeting my girlfriend for the first time. If that was me, I'd be pissed. It is 9.30 and we are leaving. Uh, looking forward to this. Been waiting for this for a moment. Hopefully, we catch some nice fish. Starting to get a bit further out. Feeling lucky? Very. <laughs> Wish us luck. So, it's looking like the birds have found a fish for us. There was uh, loads of fish in the marina. Come on, let's get lucky. <laughs> please, please. Give me a fish! These guys are out here enjoying their best lives. What's the fishing situation there? Um, but we've seen whales and dolphins and all sorts. Dolphins! Aye! They went under the boat. Yeah, there they are. There's whales. Oh, that's amazing. That's sick. So far, this has been a great great memory it's a big sign it spent 200 euros and got seasick and didn't catch any fish fuck that <laughs> I'm gonna catch myself a fish take my rod do my thing get, 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 get a crocodile yesterday was not a bus up, and that's why we didn't catch no fish. But it was my mum's 60th birthday, and that was lovely. But now, we gotta take things serious. We've got the bag, it's packed, got all my goodies from back home, and we're going over there, and we're gonna go get ourselves a fucking fish. Georgia, 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 what, what are we gonna do? Go catch some fish. Oh, they're nice prawns. They're nice, they're nice prawns. Oh. I'll buy a few, baby, don't worry. Yeah, thank you. 
Contrary to popular belief, I don't believe women should drive. I don't like this turning, can I do it? Especially when they're hungover uh, from the night before. No, I blocked. And just because she took that corner better than I did, huh? doesn't mean she's a better driver. Georgia! You both nearly died. She literally just walked out without looking. Be safe, don't let them drive. Georgia! That's true. Do you know what I mean? But, uh, she didn't even look away. Is zebra crossing? I Two euro forty-five. We're getting quicker at this. First location secured. Georgia is still alive, partially in body, but not in mind. Um, now we're gonna collect the family. The family. <laughs> we're both hungover. <laughs> Georgia just paid twenty euros for some paracetamol. Good deal. Good deal. My fishing spot has been stolen. I don't want to go anyway. George is staying here. And now it's time for a little solo adventure. I'm kind of thinking it might be better to go over there. Tactic change. I think I'm going to go hit that little cove. Because uh, the gear I've got isn't really set up for dashing it out far. So I might go on the lures quickly. I've got a sea float with me and I might have to make a makeshift wait at some point. I don't like this. He's scary, especially in Crocs. I have the right stuff to do what they're doing. They're all doing what we do on the beach with the beach casters and launching it. Woo! bad to do a bum bum slide. I'm not a big man. I'm a bum bum slide guy. I'm a bum bum slide. Okay. So I want to go up and round over there. Wet crocs are not good for going up. Going down there, all right. I'm gonna stay here, or should... oh, no, I wouldn't go down too far. This has become my catchphrase. If you know Charlie does fishing, then you know it doesn't go how it's meant to go. And this is one of the worst experiences of my life. For Georgia, however, this has got to be near the top. Did you actually? Did you go in the water? Did you go in the water? I just, I was, I was nearly drowned. Come hit me, drag me against here. Really? Yeah. Why did you scream? That, did you? I'm scared. I, I'm honest. I might have just died. Yeah, that's fucking, you got lucky. Why would you scream? Just get the fuck out. Why did you scream or something? Did they help you? I was really, because there was loads of water went in my mouth. Yeah, that, that's dangerous, that corner. This is a lesson that you should all learn from. Don't mess around with Mother Nature. It takes no prison. Do the people see you? That's mad. I don't even see you. I don't even hear you. I'm still confused and bewildered to how she survived without so much as a scratch. A wave had come over the top of the cliff and pulled her into the water. She was then dragged along the side and pushed into that rock pool you can see on the left. Fuck. Look how peak that is. You're lucky you got out. I didn't hear oh or days. see anything and neither did any of the other people that were sitting along the side with her. I'm going to be able to get there. Her croc was pulled off and Shit. I tried to retrieve it. That's a bit dangerous though. The wave was too much and I didn't want to mess around and find out. Oh, I left the, I left the reel. It also turned out that I'd forgot I forgot my reel. Come all this way and I've left the thing. It's in the suitcase. I have to go back and get it. I was so headstrong that die. I went home, got my stuff and came back. Oh, it's crazy to look at something so beautiful and misunderstand its nature. It was an unlucky day, but we're lucky that George is still here. She's safe. the final day and it's been painful we've been on the boat trying to catch them spent all the money we've got no way near the weather's ruined us but today it's looking positive if i don't catch today quitting this quitting it it's not crazy wavy it looks pretty chill we'll get over there sharpish 
bang a rod out and hopefully just hopefully and actually catch a fish i am the camera work it i am the camera yes low angles low angles my prawn right on the float hopefully it goes again put again no look at this fucking contraption that i've made i've left my scissors i've only got a certain amount of gear i'm using an old piece of sweet corn plastic corn as a float stopper it's a work of art this rod's a really nice rod as a float rod, I can't lie. Float's working really well. Quite happy with that. I've just seen a fish near my float and then it's just gone down. So hopefully we might actually catch something. Please let me catch something. I've tried so hard. It's gone under. The hook, the hook is too big for that fish though. But at least I've seen a fish. He was just casually swimming along the top. Don't know what the hell it was though. It looked kind of cute. It's gone down again. It's, got, it's getting bit. Please. Please. So the fish are taking my bait and then pulling it under rocks. There's two there, there's a big one. Okay. Oh. Around this area. Oh, we're catching one, we're catching one. No, a thousand percent, we've just seen it. You just gotta stop them from getting under the rocks. Come on, you stupid fish. <laughs> Might have to go with a smaller hook, you know, even in this. That was a decent size though. I know, but his mouth ain't doing much. Literally just lost the fish down here. I'm getting quite upset. I just want to catch a fish, like really bad. So for once in my life, give me a tannery fish. It would be the first time. This is how we're fishing. I got my float out the water. The fish are all in this crevice here, and I'm just praying, just praying. I see canary fish, I see puff fish. There's a no crab or an octopus there, I can't tell. I've seen a black long fish, we don't know what that is. I have tried for so many days, and we have finally got a little fish on. I don't know what it is. My phone's just died. Has it? Yeah. Give me yours. Where's yours? Yeah! <laughs> Let's look at this fish. It's cool. Don't want to touch him because he's spiky. Hey, we caught him, let's send him back. Oudoir! Send him back. Oudoir! Yeah! Oh, that's been so much work! <laughs> we caught one! <laughs> you have no idea how much money and time I have put into catching this blood clap! <laughs> right, follow it down. Did you get it? Thank you. You're a boss. Number two, yeah. I didn't catch the whole thing. <laughs> Look at this thing. We call a fish. This thing is cool. We chill. Don't want to get spiked. This is why I bring these with me. <sighs> Careful, he spike you. Someone tell me what this is. Time to throw him back. Hold him. Let me see. Boy. He's chill. <laughs> I'm very happy about it. <laughs> I'm happy about that one. I'm actually happier about that one than the other one. You're more happy about that one? Yeah, because that one was actually fishing. This one I was sticking it down in the crack. Might keep these out. It looks like I need them. Bad, that's bad. <laughs> I've only caught two fish I in five days. <laughs> Buenos dias. It's me, El DJ Animal. DJ Bonus Fishes. A strange uncle who moved away for mysterious reasons in the year of 1999. Mind your business, mind your business. What am I doing here? I'm looking at animals. That's it, I tell you that. That's all I'm looking at is animal, nothing else. Mind your business. And I'm here to bring you some more bonus animals. Now, for some bonus animals. It's really annoying. Today's been windy, can't get on the coast. Got all the rod and bag and everything. Rod and bag. 
can see all the fish, but you don't have the fish in the harbour. You can even feed them. Oh, big one. Mate over there just caught a fish. I'm not sure what it is. And back he goes. I don't know what this crab is, but I'm gonna find out later. When I find out about this crab, I'm gonna tell you about it. Oh, he's in, he's in there. He's in there, Mike. Let's go grab another one. Stay away from our tizzes. We got some walking meat, as everyone should have. Serrano. 10 out of 10. We're gonna put some of it in here and just see if anything else will come out. There's a flat one under the rock. They're like stone loaches or something like that. You can see that little fella, look, yeah. Man. Look at that weird ass fish. Don't know if you guys can make that out, but that's a billion ribbon fish. And a pigeon. Oh, and a pigeon that I didn't even notice before. <laughs> hey, how are you? Are you all right? I didn't even notice him there. There are little fishes in here, never even seen this. Go and do the other one. <laughs> do the other one. Nice.